As many of you are aware, I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. I mean, then again, who isn't in this day and age? I'll tell you who. Hitler. I mean, how can you not love a game which encompasses friendship, relaxation, and basically a gateway into an idyllic life? It's essentially Positivity, the game. The complete opposite of Twitter. But out there in the cruel world, there are people who try to profit off this innocent franchise. They're called Nintendo. But also out there in this cruel world, there are people who try to profit off this innocent franchise in a much less tasteful way. Bootleg apps on the Google Play Store. And also I found some fan games on the net because it's hard enough trying to fill up a video with just shitty mobile games. Terry Bites. He doesn't even try to hide his laziness. Let's start with some Animal Crossing trash. That's not Amiibo Crossing. Animal Crossing Jump. You can see the Earth and Universe. Well, good for you, you. But what about the rest of us? Best new game, the Animal Crossing Camp Jump. Top chart game. How long can you survive on the Animal Crossing Camp Jump? Man, if there's one word I wouldn't associate Animal Crossing with, it's survive. Well, here it is. Here is the top chart game. That has got to be one of the most crude screens I've ever seen, even for mobile games. I mean, just look at it. It looks like something I would make for one of my first YouTube thumbnails, not a game sold for money on the Google Play Store. God, what's with that weird white striped sheen on the border of the letters? It's so distracting. And this is the game. Oh, I lost. And sinking into the concrete, smiling away. Okay, let's try to get more than two jumps. Damn, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, how do we play this game? A bit, what? A, a, a kangaroo? Oh, this is a clone of a jumping game featuring a kangaroo. I'm not even surprised. Interestingly, the replay button doesn't work. You always have to quit to the main menu and restart the round. Oh, and you can't forget about the collectibles. We can use them to unlock new characters such as Ninja and Zombie. Fucking Zombie. Isabel wearing Deal With It Sunnies is a goddamn zombie. I don't think I can top that. Next is a flash game called Animal Crossing Tortima's Adventure. Looks innocent enough. Tortima just spazzing out there. The premise of the game is simple. Get from the start of the level to the end. Shit, that was simple. Level one, the walk to the village. Find your way to the village. It's not too hard. <laughs> oh God, I hope it's not. God, I'd make a joke about that, but it's just so innocent. Well, goddamn. It certainly looks like Animal Crossing enough, and damn Tortima can jump! For such an old man, near senile and retired, he can throw his body like he's a damn NBA player! Who said green turtles can't jump? As the instruction stated, the game is really simple. Just walk Tortima over to the finish while jumping over entire goddamn trees from the ground. Really nothing else to say. Toom nooks busy and can't cross the pond. Heh. <laughs> Tomb. Again, I could make fun of that typo, but it's better to stick this game on the fridge and give it a good try sticker. Lord knows I couldn't make a better game. And here we see Tortima drowning. Ah, hell yeah, just like the water temple. And we cross the pond to help Tom Nook open his shop. Well, actually, no, we get shoved to the sidelines while he rudely rushes ahead. Oh no, someone robbed the store. So it's up to us to find the culprit. Level three, here we come. We now gain the ability to jump on clouds. So the platform becomes a bit more complex. Nothing insane, but hey, it's promising. And level, oh, the game ends there. 
Oh man, I was actually starting to enjoy that. And it looks to remain unfinished. Which is a shame, because now we will never know who would steal from poor old Tom Nook. This will go down in the pages as one of 21st century's unsolved mysteries. Zuvania Chronicles come to the incredible town inhabited by various anthropomorphic animals and oh my god this is like a whole essay just as a description. You will start the game inside the train car which rushes to you in search of a new life. My god it's like a walkthrough of the beginning. Extract materials, build your own farm which will bring you fruits and wealth. In this case do not ask help from your hairy new friends, they will never give up. What the hell does that even insinuate? Well, that's enough from that exhaustive and horrifying essay. Let's begin! Whoa, hey now, that is, uh, that is some music. Really fitting with the new leaf wallpaper there. Man, this game is taking its time to load and, uh... Oh? Uh... No connection, eh? Uh... Well, I can't seem to get further than this. I restarted the game twice and got to this exact place on the loading bar and, well... Nothing happened. So yeah, that's the game. That counts, right? This, this counts as a fully-fledged game, right? I can move on, yeah? Please? Happy Friends Museum. It was available on mobile, but I couldn't get it to work, but it's also available as a Flash game, so here it is. This is a pretty lovely fan game based on the Animal Crossing universe, set in a museum that's not curated by Blathers. Now that's just sacrilege. The main premise is that it's a puzzle game with the objective to reach the end of the level within the limited amount of moves you can make, which is dictated by food. I mean, okay. You can also collect fossils for an extra challenge, much like a star rating in other mobile games. You have to avoid hazards and solve small puzzles. It's a fun little game. And with a cute little doggo villager making little remarks as you walk around eating your food per step. Overall, it's a pretty fun game. So much fun that I actually bothered to 100% it, which is a rarity. I mean, it only took me around 10 minutes, but still. Although there is one thing that makes me Double take. When you run out of food or get stung by a bee, poor little doggo here states, Death, it has come upon me. Jesus Christ, death! What is with these games an actual death? Aside from that, uh, dark side, this game is pretty good. Alexander Shen, good job. It's the experience Animal Crossing fans didn't know that they wanted. Maybe they still don't. You let me know. I'll be around. I like this guy. And now it's time for the last game on the list, Creature Streets. A cute fan game based on the crossing of animals, but with one little twist. There's been a murder? There's been a terrible crime. Find motives and evidence, then tell Isidore who you think did the dastardly deed. <laughs> Isidore, because she is a Adorable, I guess. I don't really get that. But hey, here's the cute little town of Penis. And we enter the mayor's house where Jesus Christ, that is violent. God, fully decapitated and several axe chops to the head? Gruesome. We go around to the several villages around the town, including a little cat named Myrtle who likes cleanliness while being happy being surrounded by garbage. Ursula, a bear who was constantly hit over the head with a bug net by the now deceased mayor. Dwight, who proudly wears the shirt the mayor designed for him. And a butt ugly squirrel named Squeaky, whom which the mayor seems to agree with me. He really seemed to hate him for being ugly. So really, all the animals have a motive, but seem blissfully unaware of mayor boners, hatred and abuse towards them. So really, just like a real Animal Crossing game. Why don't I have his picture? Right down to the immature nicknames. <laughs> you know what? Just because I hate Squeaky and his ugly face, let's just say he did it. Oh God. Oh gee. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, I thought it was going to go to court or something. Not a... Uh... Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. They're all clapping and dancing for his death. Wow. God, that's one hell of a way to end the game. But you know, I got a feeling I missed something. Something was lurking in the background. Something more insidious. Yes, like you, Isidore. 
you seemed a bit too nonchalant about the whole mare being killed thing. I have a sneaking suspicion you did it, as it all. Hey, please come with me. Every fucking time a human rolls up in some train or bus, they immediately become mad. Do you know how that makes me feel, detective? I've been the backbone of this damn town for years. But do I ever get to be mayor? Of course not. Isidore, I'm taking you in. I'm sorry. I'll do anything to save this town. Oh, God, uh... Isidore? Well, that was horrifyingly awesome. That was a great little game. That was a beautiful send up of everything silly that happens in the Animal Crossing universe. The dumb villages, the stupid placement of furniture, the mayor doing idiotic things, dumb clothes. It's all there. All these little details made by people who really do like Animal Crossing. And for a little thing made during a game jam, that exceeded my expectations. What a great little thing to end on. <sighs> no, 